welcome back to Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs. This is Cruise Man. It's Monday afternoon and I have to make a little run to the grocery store to pick up a couple of things. I thought I'd check in with you again, update you on some stuff that's going on. Hope you enjoy these motor vlogs. If you do, Please click that little subscribe button down below and if you click the little bell icon, YouTube will notify you when we come out with new videos. It's a warm day today, about 93 degrees, but not too windy, so I'm okay with 93 degrees. And it's not overly humid today. It's actually kind of nice out. Now, in my recent video where I did a 10,000 mile review of my 2018 Goldwing I think I mentioned that my trunk lid was harder to close and open since I installed the luggage rack and I asked and if anybody else has had this same issue have you noticed that your trunk is harder to open or close after having a trunk rack installed or after you've installed one yourself and I've been giving this some thought, and I think I might know what is causing this. And there may be a solution, even though it's not a pretty one. It's possible that Honda misprinted those lineup holes on the inside of the trunk lid. The reason I say they misprinted them is because I drilled the holes exactly in the center of those markings that Honda put on the inside of that trunk lid. But I do remember when I installed the uh, trunk rack itself, or what I believe they call it, I believe they call it a trunk rack, I'm not sure. I call it a luggage rack, but I think they call it a trunk rack. But I do recall one of those four posts that lines up with a bolt from underneath did not line up exactly. I had to do some kind of tugging on that uh, post to get it to line up over the hole. Now what might have happened, and I suspect some of you, if you've had this exact same issue, because some of you emailed me, you said you've had the same issue with your trunk lid. What might have happened is when I tightened down those bolts for that luggage rack, it put the trunk lid in a bind and it's basically no longer its original shape this is also possible if the trunk rack itself is not perfectly aligned if those four posts if any one of those four posts is off just a little bit and you have to shall we say persuade the trunk lid to get that rack to line up with the bolt hole and you tighten down those bolts it's very possible that that trunk lid has taken on a new shape now and that could be what's making it bind when I go to open and close my trunk now the only way I'll know for sure and the only way I'll know to make basically maybe fix this is you have to take the whole thing apart again possibly and I say possibly because I don't know if it's possible possibly ream out those holes enough to where you can get this uh, rack those four posts to line up correctly without having to in any way uh, put that trunk lid into like a torque or a bind or anything I, that's just my guess I, I'm just speculating here I really have no idea what's causing it but that's the most logical thing I can think of because before I put on the trunk lid mine opened and closed just fine so anyway that's my thought of the day for the trunk rack if any of you have that problem now I can still get it to close and still get it to open it's just not as smooth as it used to be welcome back to cruise man's motor vlog after that short and riveting break I wanted to talk to those of you that uh, purchased the 2018 plus Goldwing maintenance videos last week some of you may know we had a promotion we did a July 4th promotion 
and all you had to do was enter July 4 when you purchased the videos but some of you didn't do it a lot of you bought those videos I was blown away when I got up on July 5th and I saw the emails from Vimeo on how many of you actually purchased those videos the previous couple of days and uh, of course that promotion is still going on it's still going on through july 15th so if you are interested in either the 2001 to 2017 or the 2018 plus goldwing maintenance videos go to our website cruisemansgarage.com for more details as long as you use the july 4 promo code you'll get the discount now many of you that purchased last week lots of traffic lights it's uh, five o'clock traffic here in Dallas it's four o'clock but we're in five o'clock traffic now if you purchased those videos last week and you did not get your discount you did not use the promo code maybe you didn't know we were having a promotion or maybe you just forgot to put in the code you're not out of luck you can still get the discount in the form of a rebate here's what you have to do you have to email me a copy of your email or forward a copy of your email from Vimeo that you got as a receipt. You should have received a receipt from Vimeo.com showing the purchase, show the price and the date. And you need to forward that to me at my email address, which I will put in the description of this video. And you also need to register your video purchase. Uh, with cruisemansgarage.com and I'll put that link in the description down below as well and once we get everything to match up what we'll do may take a couple of weeks but uh, once we verify everything's correct we'll mail you a check for the rebate amount of the discount so you're not completely out of luck and in fact even if you purchase the videos up to 14 days before July the 4th, you can still get that rebate because we will honor those purchases too. We don't think it's fair if you pay full price and then we announce a promotion, you didn't know anything about it and maybe you bought it a week before and then you feel like, oh heck, if I just waited, I could have got a discount. So if you did buy it the week before, 10 days before, or up to 14 days before, just register on our website send me a copy of that email and we'll get a check out to you as soon as we can now that's all about the business end hey I want you to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'm gonna talk I've got some cool stuff coming up later in the week I'm gonna do another motor vlog but I'm also gonna do another video and I'm gonna start covering some things in different videos that I didn't cover in my 10,000 mile review just because I didn't quite think they rose to the level uh, that needed to be mentioned there but they are things that I think if you have a 2018 or 2019 Goldwing or if you're considering one you'll probably want to know about so we're gonna have those discussions later in the week and that's it for today on Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs.